What's up, YouTube? I'm Ace Palomero, South Texas realtor, proud son of the Rio Grand Valley, and currently ranked in the top two for my uh, mother's favorite sons. Today we're going over the CPI report for August 2023, and this came out uh, last Wednesday. So let's jump right into it. So on a seasonally adjusted basis uh, for comparing August 2023 to July 2023, there was a 0.6% increase in the uh, CPI or Consumer Price Index. Uh, that's a 200% increase if we compare it to the previous month. The biggest contributor to this monthly increase, and that's 10.6%, uh, was gas. Food increased by 0.2%. New vehicles increased by 0.3%. Used vehicles actually decreased 1.2%. Electricity increased by 0.2%, apparel, clothes, shoes, etc. increased by 0.2%, and shelter increased by 0.3%. Over the past 12 months or past year, the All Items Index increased 3.7%. Uh, the biggest contributor to this increase was transportation, it's a 10.3% increase. The second biggest contributor or for this 12-month uh, period was shelter, and that's 7.3% increase. Energy had a 3.6% decrease, actually. Uh, gas went uh, down by 3.3%. Uh, electricity went up by 2.1%. Uh, utility gas service actually had a decrease of 16.5%. Uh, New vehicles went up by 2.9%. Used vehicles actually went down by 6.6%. Apparel went up 3.1%. And food had a 3.7% increase. With the food away from home having a 6.5% increase. She takes me back to uh, back when my brother were kids and our parents were always telling us there's food at home. And uh, yeah. Yeah, right now I agree. I agree with that statement. There are uh, seven tables at the uh, or that the uh, report had and that break down the uh, CPI basket of goods even further uh, into more detail. And the one that I took a look at specifically uh, to give an example was the apparel. And this is for uh, or the numbers I looked at was for uh, the month to month changes. So from July 2023 and uh, oh, July 2023 to August 2023, that 0.2% uh, increase for apparel, you can actually see that for uh, men and boys apparel, they actually decreased by 0.6%. Um, and women and girls apparel increased by 0.7%, with girls apparel decreasing by one6 percent and women's apparel increasing by 1.1 percent so what i got from that is the uh 0.2 percent increase in uh the cost of apparel from july 2023 to august 23 or august 2023 was mainly because women's clothes uh got more expensive so ladies, slow down. Now, what does the uh, CPI report or the uh, inflation numbers have to do with real estate? It's a uh, monetary policy. So one of the things that the Federal Reserve is looking at regarding their decisions on monetary policy is inflation. And they've repeatedly stated, or Jerome Powell has repeatedly stated, uh, Federal Reserve Chairman, that 2% inflation is the goal. And until we're at 2% inflation, or unless the economy takes a dramatic turn for the worse, I don't see why they would change their uh, monetary policy or why they would suddenly start cutting rates. Now, they're hoping, like the Federal Reserve, is hoping for a soft landing basically they want to get inflation under control without crashing the economy um i don't know if that's gonna happen i guess we'll see 
There's some uh, headlines saying that the recession is canceled, but I mean, that really doesn't make any sense. Um, I mean, recessions are part of the normal like economic cycle. You know, nor- you have uh, expansion, peak, contraction, and then uh, trough. Uh, for the housing market cycle, you have recovery, expansion, hypersupply, and recession, and it just loops. Uh, Fred Harrison, he's a British economist, and he used, apparently used hundreds of years of data to, uh, I guess, come up with this. But he says that the average housing market cycle is 18 years, and... Uh, there's an article that I'm going to link down below. You can check it out for yourself. And I don't know if any of y'all have seen like these videos on uh, the silent depression. I actually came across it in uh, an article like when I was just looking up, you know, doing the research for this video. Um, apparently there's a lot of TikTokers who have made videos about the silent depression. I, I don't use TikTok. And these uh, videos on TikTok are basically comparing uh, the financial situations of, you know, your typical American today to the financial situation of, you know, the average person back in the Great Depression. And they use things like, you know, how much the median income has grown over the past 50 years versus how much the median house price has shot up and I mean mean, they have a point so what can you do about this runaway inflation well on the macro level unless you're an elected or appointed government official or a key decision maker in one of the fortune 500 companies probably not much but if you're one of the many who isn't a billionaire or a centimillionaire, elections are next year. And yeah, you should, uh, if you're eligible to vote, you should vote. Now for things that are actionable immediately, and I'm not a financial advisor, and this is not financial advice, but these are things you should ask yourself. So, um, how many months of savings do you have? Like, if you lost your job today, like, how long would you be good for? Um, how much do you need to make a month in order for you to be comfortable? What does your retirement plan look like? How much are you uh, putting away? Um, are you putting anything away? Uh, Is your social security and your 401k are the only things that you have for your retirement? Like, what does your investment portfolio look like? Um, Do you need to cut expenses? Uh, This is for me, like, I mean, I've been cutting expenses like this past year because last year when I was doing my, or I did my taxes earlier this year for last year, the amount I spent going out as a first year agent it's it was a lot it was pretty shameful i did not follow the uh there's that food at home mantra um to put things in perspective you know regarding on how much you know i guess maybe you think you need to make in order to be comfortable the median income in the U.S., and this according to uh, FirstRepublic.com for 2022 was 54000 or uh, yeah, $54,132. And according to uh, DaddyUSA.io, the median income in McAllen, Texas was $49,259. I think this was back in 2020, though. Um, one of the, I guess... YouTube analysts regarding the real estate market, like the reasons why he considers the Valley, the Rio Grande Valley to be overvalued is, you know, because the uh, median home to uh, median like 
house price ratio. Well, that's it for the video. Uh, yeah, CPI is important because it affects uh, what the Fed might do regarding monetary policy. Um, you found anything in this video helpful? Like and subscribe. Bye.